Podiman Studio. Will permit exercise by the Filipino people of general control. The Vice President of the Philippines. According to the Philippine Constitution, the Vice President may concurrently assume a cabinet position should the President of the Philippines offer the former one. The Vice President will become a secretary concurrent to the position of Vice President. Aside from the cabinet post, the Vice President is mandated to assume the presidency in case of the death, disability, or resignation of the incumbent President. And in today's video, the Vice Presidents of the Republic of the Philippines. Leonora, Bani Rob Bredo, the 14th Vice President, and one of the most controversial politician, opposing the present administration. She was elected in 2016 for a six-year term under the presidency of President Rodrigo Duterte. Vice President Rob Bredo, was the second female Vice President of the Philippines. Judge Omar Binay, the 13th Vice President elect of the Republic of the Philippines, under the presidency of President Benigno Aquino Jr., he served the office from 2010 to 2016. He ran for the presidential elections in 2016 but lost in the race. Nolita Castro, the 12th Vice President, elected in 2004 with her running mate President Gloria Arroyo. He served the office from 2004 to 2010, and also a cabinet member of the administration. Teofas Tagangona, the 11th Vice President of the Philippines, appointed by President Gloria Arroyo, in 2001, after President Joseph Estrada, was overthrown, by a mass political protest on January 17-20, 2001, also called the Edza II Revolution. Gloria Nicopagal Arroyo, the first female Vice President of the Philippines. She was elected in 1998 and served the office for three years, until she assumed the presidency, taking oath at the Edsa Shrine, after overthrowing President Estrada from the office, by a political protest in January of 2001. Joseph Estrada, the 10th Vice President, elected in 1992, under the presidency of President Fidel Ramos, he was the only celebrity in the Philippines to hold an executive office after he became the President of the Republic in 1998. Salvador Loro, the 9th President of the Republic of the Philippines, and also the Prime Minister of the Aquino administration, he was the last Prime Minister after it was abolished in 1987. President Aquino and Vice President Loro, assumed the office after the Edza revolution and being declared as the true winners of the presidential snap election. Emmanuel Phil Lottes, the seventh vice president of the Philippines under the presidency of President Macapagal, his term in the office is from 1961 to 1965. Jews Dado Macapagal, the sixth vice president elected in the office in 1957, under the presidency of Carlos P. Garcia, he served his term from 1957 to 1961. After his term he ran for the presidential election and he won the race. Carlos P. Garcia, the fifth vice president of the Philippines, elected in 1953, with his running mate and president Ramon Magsaysay. He assumed the president's office in 1957 after President Ramon Magsaysay's tragic death. Fernando Lopez, the fourth and seventh vice president elect of the Republic of the Philippines. His first term was in 1948 with President Quirino and his second time, term for the office, was in the year 1965, with the president-elect Ferdinand Marcos, he left the office in 1972. 
Elfidio Quirino, the third elected vice president of the Philippines, served the office from 1946 to 1948 under the presidency of Manuel Rojas, and later assumed the presidency on April 17, 1948, two days after the death of President Manuel Rojas. Sirio Osmeña, the second vice president elected under the Commonwealth government, he succeeded the presidency, during the World War II, when the president Manuel Quezon, died by a lung disease. General Mariano Trias, considered as the first vice president, he was elected, in the Theheros Convention by a secret voting, the first vice president of the first Philippine Republic, under the presidency of General Emilio Aguinaldo. During the martial law, a vice president position was vacant. And Vice President Fernando Lopez was removed from the office in 1972. Under 1973 Constitution, the constitutional law did not provide a position for a vice presidency, until 1986. The vice president of the Philippines is the second highest executive official of the government of the Philippines, after the president. The VP position is elected by the peoples of the Philippines, and the present president can appoint an elected official from the legislative, in case of death resignation, impeachment, or failure to assume the post of the former, with the confirmation of the Congress. The Vice President currently holds office at the Quezon City Reception House, with the monthly salary of about 350,000 peso. The current office of the Vice President was re-established under the 1987 Constitution, bearing similarities with the office as created in the 1935 Constitution that was abolished by the Marcos regime. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.